Well, these past few moments, the world's largest airliner, the A380, the so-called Super Jumbo, has taken off from Bristol. It's heading to Toulouse on a test flight, and it's doing so in a rather more environmentally friendly way than perhaps hitherto has always been the case, because it's been filled up with what has been described as alternative semi-biofuel. And Airbus hope this could be the beginning of a, the next generation of cleaner fuel. Plane there heading into the blue skies above the test plant, the Airbus plant in Filton near Bristol for a, well, a flight that shouldn't take more than an hour, that's for sure. Set your life to central London. Guardian's environment correspondent, Dr. David Adam. Dr. Adam, thank you very much indeed for uh, looking at these pictures with us and um, trying to assess what it means for the airline industry, really. Well, I, I think you're right when you described it as a blend, that this won't be anywhere near a, a full biofuel. There will still be a lot of conventional fuel in this, and it will still be producing a lot of CO2. Um, the question, I suppose, is, is it better or worse? And I, I think from the environment's point of view, what would be better is if, if we didn't increase the number of planes and we, we didn't increase the size of, of airports. But, but given that we are going to, uh, it looks, then we have to think of, well, what are the better ways of, of, of doing that and how can we reduce the CO2 emissions which we care about so much? And this is one of the, one of the options. Um, it's not perfect. A lot of people are, are anti-biofuels because there are associated problems with them. Um, but I think if, if, you can, if you can do it in the right way, then it, it could be an advantage. I suppose the cynics will say there are always going to be airlines, given how much flack they're currently copying, who will try and assuage uh, public anxiety by paying lip service to environmentalism. But as you say, what they're not doing is grounding their aircraft. I think that's right. I think we don't know much about what Airbus are doing here. You can describe it as, as a biofuel uh, mix, but we don't really understand what that means, um, where the biofuel comes from, what it is, how it was grown. Um, there are some concerns about what they call the life cycle analysis. Um, if it's a biodiesel uh, from a, a crop which requires a lot of fertilizer, for example, then the, uh, the overall greenhouse gas emissions could be greater um, because of the amount of greenhouse gas emissions that the fertiliser produce. And so we, do, we need to know a lot more about it. But I, I think you have to give the airlines some credit because only a few years ago people were saying there's no way you could ever use biofuels in an aircraft. Um, it gets very cold at altitude. The, the, the jet engines run at a, a much different temperature to, to car engines. Um, and so that they've clearly found a way and, and that, that is encouraging. I suppose that's an argument for those who say, look, actually, not all environmental obstacles can be cured by not doing something. Sometimes, you, you know, the technology can happen. But just to pick you up on the, or explore at least, the, the where the fuel comes from question, there was that story, wasn't there, within the past week or so, about the rainforest in Brazil being cleared for biofuels. There's a, the, you know, the road to hell can be paved with good intentions, can't it? It can, certainly. And, and that, but that, that is not necessarily a, a problem with the biofuel itself. That's just a way of managing how it's grown. Um, the rainforest is, is being destroyed for many different reasons. Um, the, the question is, can you manage a large expansion in the use of biofuels? And I don't think we know the answer to that. But if you look at the alternatives, uh, one of the alternatives is that we stop flying, which would be great. But I don't think it's going to happen in the near future. Uh, what we're doing at the moment is we're burning a lot of oil, um, which produces a lot of CO2. So then what can we do instead of that? And there are worse options than biofuel, we should point out. The, the US Air Force is starting to convert some of its aircraft to a, a synthetic oil made from coal. They, they, they burn coal to produce this. And that's an awful lot worse for the environment than burning oil. Um, and so biofuels aren't perfect, and there are problems with them. But I, I don't think it's right to say that we shouldn't use any at this stage just because there might be problems in the future. David Adam from The Guardian. David, thank you very much indeed.